Today we're going to be looking at doing an oil pastel watercolor relief and the first thing we want to do is we want to sketch some leaves onto our paper. I'm going to start out by sketching um, a little bit of a maple leaf here and I want to make sure it has its three parts and it starts out big and then it gets a little smaller as it goes out to the tips. Don't want to forget the stem and some of the veins in there. And I'm going to turn my paper. If I turn my paper after I draw each leaf, it'll make it look more like they're fluttering down from the trees. So I'm going to do another little leaf over here, a little bit more like an ash tree leaf. It's kind of an almond shape with some jagged little edges. I want to be drawing nice and light while I'm doing this because I'm going to be covering it up with some lighter color paints and the pencil might show through a little bit. So I'm just drawing the veins and the edges of the leaves really light. Turn my paper again before I start another one. I think I'll do a birch leaf this time. And birch leaves uh, look like upside down hearts. If you make a mistake, you draw a little too hard or you get a line you don't like, just gently erase it off of your board. If you don't push too hard with your pencil, it shouldn't show up at all. I'm gonna put that center vein that feeds the water out to the leaf again. And then all of the smaller ones that go off to the side. There we go. A little bit of a droop to follow the shape of the leaf since that's where it needs all that water. Now I have some spaces along the edge so I'm going to fill those in. Maybe I use the same shapes of leaves but I'm just going to put like the edge of the leaf or the tip of the leaf in those big blank areas. We don't want too much negative space around our leaves. We'd like our paper to be well balanced so I'm just going to tuck in a few little ones here and there. I might add in a few extra veins on here. And now I'm ready for the next part. We're going to be coloring these in with watercolor pencils. As you can see, watercolor pencils look like regular color pencils, except they say watercolor on the side. So when we're using our watercolor pencils, we're going to color with them just like we would our regular color pencils. You can even color a little bit lighter and more gentle with these. I like to start with the darker colors first and we're using our warm colors. So red, orange, and yellow. I like to start with the red on some of my edges and at the deeper part of the leaf to make it look like it's changing color slowly like they do on the trees this time of year here in Minnesota. And I just have to sketch it in and color it in a little bit because when we use these and we add water to them in a little bit, they're gonna turn into paint and it'll fill in any of the gaps that are on there. So when I'm coloring it in, I just kind of have to gently and quickly go over the edge like this. And I'm gonna blend it into my other warm colors. I'm going to go from red to orange to yellow. So I'm just starting with my red on all the leaves first. And I kind of try and keep the red on the same side. So I'm keeping it all on the right side of my leaves, the right and the bottom side. This one I want to accent the veins a little bit more with that red. And I want to make sure I'm following those stems too. Now I'm going to switch over to my orange and I'm going to color next to the red and I'm going to color just a little bit into the red, not all the way, but a little bit into the red to help those blend together when I start adding the water to this watercolor pencil. So watercolor pencils are pretty much dried watercolor paint uh, put into a pencil form. So you're putting the paint on the paper right now and then when we add the water to it, it becomes watercolor. I'm going to do the same thing when I switch to yellow. On this leaf, I wanna make half of it orange, so I'm gonna go ahead and color in half of it. And for this, remember, usually we talk about smooth coloring and not leaving any white spaces. You can leave a little bit of white space when you color with these because when they become watercolor, they'll fill in those white spaces. For this next part, we're going to use some oil pastels. We started with our warm colors for red, orange, yellow. We're also going to add brown now. That's one of our warm colors. Uh, so here we go. And we're going to use these to trace around the edges of our paper. So I'm gonna use brown, and I'm just going to add a few accent lines only around the edge of our leaves, maybe with some of the veins a little bit, but I don't wanna to use too much brown and muddy it up. Then I'm gonna to switch to red, and any of those edges where I used red watercolor, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to put in 
the red oil pastel to really make those edges show up better and to kind of pop. When we start painting these, it'll keep our colors separate. It'll let our warm colors stay together in our leaves and it'll leave our cool colors of the background uh, so they don't blend together and get too muddy. So I'm pressing firm, but I'm also being gentle with oil pastels. They can break pretty easily. So you'll notice I'm also holding them way down by the tip of the oil pastel. You don't wanna hold them in the middle or on the far end. When you're drawing like this, you wanna hold them closer to the point. When I finish up with these, I'm gonna switch over to my cool colors. I'm gonna use a light blue and a dark blue. And I'm going to do some spirals in the background. I do not wanna go on top of my leaves. I'm being very careful not to go on top of my leaves, but to make it look like the spirals are going behind them. And this gives our paper some movement. It'll make it look like the sky has some wind going through it and blowing our leaves around. I'm going to use the light one and the dark one. So I'm going to do a couple of light ones first, and then I'm going to go in and swirl and do some spirals for the darker one. Again, I'm being careful not to go on top of my leaves. I'm going behind them because the wind is blowing behind them. And then I want to make sure I'm filling in that background space. So sometimes I might start partial ones off the edge and go like this, where you just feel like you're drawing some half circles or some arcs. And I'm going to be careful there. And now I want them to bump into each other. So I'm going to keep going with those oil pastels until it starts to bump into another color, like right here. Be really careful. And then I'm gonna skip over here and do a little bit more until it bumps. And I'll keep adding those in and then I'll switch back and forth between the light one and the dark one until I have my background filled in with those spirals. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate our watercolor pencils. So I'm going to get a little water on my brush and it needs to be clean water. And I'm going to scrub gently with my brush. I want to start with the lightest colors first. I want to start with those yellows and then go into the orange and into the red. Otherwise, if I go the opposite direction, it'll be too bossy. That red likes to be a really bossy color and it might take over my whole leaf. So I do the yellow first. Then I go in and I work on scrubbing the red into the orange. And now I get that nice transition between the yellow into the orange and then into the red. On this one over here, I'll just do it along the edge. If you get a little on the table, that's okay. It's watercolor. It'll just wash right off with a towel. No big deal. Now we're going to switch to using liquid watercolors for our background. And I'm going to start with a dark blue. We want to use those cool colors, so we're going to be using some blues and purples. And I can add to it, I can just pick up some water and fade it into a lighter blue if I want to. Now I'm being very careful not to go on top of my leaves. I'm just painting around my leaves. Then I can pick up some purple and I can blend that purple into the blue a little bit. And then just keep going around my edges, being careful not to go inside the leaves. We want to keep those cool, windy colors outside. Then I can pick up some blue and put it right in here. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to use the pointy part of my brush right here to go in between those leaves. I don't want it to overlap. I'm going to keep my warm colors warm and my cool colors cool. Now this blue paint is a little thick up here, so I'm gonna get some water, and when I add water to it, I can spread it out a little more and thin it out. So that oil pastel, you can see in the background, is pushing the watercolor off. It makes it look like it has really neat swirls, and I just keep changing colors back and forth. 